Most of the terms used to identify objects in Revit are common industry standard terms. However, some terms are unique to Revit. Understanding the following terms is crucial to understanding the software. In Revit, the project is the single database of information for your design, the building information model, or what is known as BIM. The project file contains all of the information for the building design, from the geometry to the construction data. This information includes components used to design the model, views of the project, and drawings of the design. By using a single project file, Revit makes it easier for you to alter the design and have changes reflected in all associated areas, be it the plan view, elevations, section view, schedules, and so on. Having only one file to track also makes it easier to manage the project. You build your Revit project by what are called elements. Revit uses three types of these elements in the project. Model elements, which are doors, walls, and stairs. Datum elements, which are grids and levels. Or view specific elements, which are tags, texts, and dimensions. Elements are then organized into groups called categories. A category is a group of elements with similar properties and functionality. For example, all of the walls in Revit are grouped into the walls category. The same applies to our doors, windows, and columns. Each category is then further organized into what are called families. A family is a subgroup which further sorts the elements into a category into specific groups based on a property. For example, the columns category is broken up into a round column family and a rectangular column family. Each of these families can have several types. A type can be a specific size of that family, such as a 450 mil round column or a 600 millimeter round column. These columns will have identical type properties other than the dimensions, and consequently, they are grouped into the same family. Each time you place an element into Revit, you have placed what is referred to as an instance of the element. Instances are the actual items or known as individual elements that are placed into the project and have specific locations in the building known as model instances or on a drawing sheet known as an annotation instance. So if you have 10 columns of the same type and you want to change the properties of just one column, you can edit the properties of just that one instance and the changes will only affect the individual element. If you'd like to see more content like this, please like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if there's anything you'd like me to cover in the future, please comment below. Thanks for watching.